Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Have a wonderful song from Radiohead today. We're looking on how to play exit music for a film. Uh, so this one's absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite uh, Radiohead songs forever. So it's good, really fun to kind of work this one out. Um, we're going to do the whole thing, including the little electric guitar melodies at the very end. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll be switching to electric for that. All right, before we do it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Um, and check out my Guitar Academy. It's at guitarlessons365.com. It's got all my guitar courses covering tons of topics. Guitar tone, technique, uh, improvisation, uh, ear training, theory. It's all there. So please come over and uh, join us over there if you will. Uh, link in the description. All right, so let's start here. Now we're in standard tuning with a capo or a capo if you're on the other side of the pond. Uh, so we have to have it here at the second fret there. Um, so that's gonna make it play just like Tom York does. All right, so we have that little intro there that is gonna start. Now I'm gonna call this an A minor chord. Obviously, it's a B minor with this capo, but it's easier for us, everybody, really, just to kind of imagine this is, you know, zero fret. And so I'm going to call out, say, A minor. That's compared to the capo, of course. All right, so it's just going to be make it a little bit easier to uh, get everything figured out here. So let's start here on the A minor chord. Now, he doesn't strum with a pick. He uses kind of just kind of brushing it really with his fingers and thumb. Gives it kind of a softer sound. And then we have that little. Alright, so that's just kind of like you're playing that A minor, kind of quick little down up. Then lift up to the open string to make it an A, a sus 2 chord. And then third fret there uh, on, on front of the capo. And that is going to be an A sus 4 chord. And then back to the A minor. So it is. Back to just strumming A minor. And that little. So now I'll just strum A minor a little bit. And then we had this first verse. Wake from your sleep. So we're going to start with an A minor, then take that to an E major, and then the next chord here is a C major chord with G in the bass. Um, so if you don't know what that is, you can just play a regular, a regular C major chord, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to lift up that ring finger and move it over to the third fret, third fret in front of the capo, of course. Um, over on the low E string, and then you're gonna replace that note that you left, you picked up from, with your pinky. So you still have that full C major chord. Now you just add that G in the bass. All right, we're gonna follow that with a uh, D major chord, a D sus two chord, really. No, we wouldn't call it a sus two actually. An add nine chord. So in first inversion. So what we're doing here is we're gonna play an open D string, second fret on the uh, G, third fret on the B string, and then the high E string open. 
But underneath that, we're going to put an F sharp. So that is going to be a, uh, you would call that a, a D major add nine chord um, in first inversion. So we have this from your C D major. C with G in the bass. And then D chord. And then back to the A minor. And to the E. At the end of it, we, we go to that A sus4 chord that we did earlier. So that's the open A, second fret on the D, and the G, third fret on the B, open high E string. And then you're going to resolve that to A major. So just now play an A major chord. And then it switches back to A minor for the second verse, to, and the second verse, the exact same chords. So it's really cool going with that sus4 to A major to A minor. Now there was a slight difference there. So when we did that F sharp uh, in the bass there, that D, add nine with F sharp in the bass. So in the first verse, it just stays on that F sharp. In the second verse, it goes this. So we went from that F sharp, and then he usually he'll grab that next chord. You can use your first finger if you want, it's more comfortable. But he grabs that uh, the F now, the first fret on low E string, which turns this into a D minor add nine. So we have a major, minor. All right, so that's the only difference. And then it goes back. Now, every time when you play that progression later in the song, from that C with a G in the bass to that. He does that full bass line from then on out. So from the second to first on. So just that one little additional bass note there is the only difference between the first and second verse. All right, then we have this really cool section. Um, Sounds like this. Breathing, keep breathing. Don't you know? Some tricky chords in there. Um, Tom York is definitely a, a, a very, very competent guitar player. So um, we have this chord right here. <laughs> really cool sounding too. So that's going to be the third fret on the low E, third fret on the G, first fret on the B, and then the third fret on the um, high E string. You can have the open D in there too, it sounds fine. Now what happens here, he basically the easy way of, of thinking about it is these three fingers that are at the third fret, 
Move them all back to the second fret. It's a you know a D um, D seven uh, with uh, in first version. So we have a so from here. Then it goes to an A sus two chord. So that A chord um, of the open B string. Then take it to an A minor. Then real quick, it sounds like it goes to a, a kind of a D power chord real quick. Just a little transition. Open D, second fret on the G, and uh, third fret there on the B string. And then it goes to this chord. Now this one. All right, so. Uh, we're just basically it says A minor in first inversion, and he's real careful live. If you watch him, he collapses this uh, finger right here because he's trying to mute that D string. He doesn't want that D string ringing out. So, however you want to do it, make sure the D string when you're doing the strum, you don't hear, hear that D string. In. So that's the third fret on the A string, second fret on the G, first fret on the B, open high E. And then from there we go to this E sus4 chord without the low E string in there yet. You don't really do that. He kind of he has B in the bass. So we basically play the second fret on the A, D, and the G, open B, open high E. So just strum from the fifth string across. So we can play through that. So what we got so far. Start over. Now, the only difference now when we go to the E sus four chord, we play all six strings. So, same chord, but add a low E string in there this time. And then we're going to resolve it to an E major, so it's a little bit extended. And then we're back to the verse, same as the second verse. So now we have um, this new section, which is where you start hearing the kind of electric guitar kind of tremolo picked thing, which I'll cover after the acoustic part. We cover all these uh, the chords here. So this part sounds like this. And you So that starts with the A minor. You can. This goes to a B dominant seven chord. So we have this second fret on the A, first fret on the D, second fret on the G, 
open B, second fret on the high E. Take that down to an E major. Then he goes to an F major. You can do this just as a standard bar chord. Like I said, he plays it kind of the thumb version of it. So this is kind of just borrowing the top two strings there, but taking that low note with his thumb. We hope rules. Now that goes to a B flat major chord compared to the capo, of course. It's obviously a C major, but. Um, first fret on the A string, and then bar the third fret on the D, G, and the B. So we, uh, so it goes, we hope, uh, let me can't lose my track of It's just like we did it uh, really in the verse. No, we are one. Everlasting we are. So that's just that A minor we are one. to E major to that C with G in the bass. Then that D minor, D, um, remember the uh, D major add nine to the D minor add nine with the you know the thumb action there, and then we have this ending. We hope that you chose that you chose. Just repeat that. Kind of just repeats that until he kind of ends the song. All right, so now let me switch over to um, the little really cool kind of eerie melody that's played uh, with a kind of a tremolo picked guitar line. So I'll uh, take a look at that right now. So that's quite the picking workout. Uh, most of these notes are on the high E string, so um, it's kind of give it kind of a dissonant, airy quality to the guitar tone, and just go nuts with it. So we're gonna start here at the 14th fret there on the on the high E string, then go up to the 19th fret, then 21, and then 16. So it's first four notes. Now from there you're gonna go to the spineless So that's what the lyrics are going at that point. So what's that 12, 18, 19, 15. So far we have 
All right, from there, we do go over to the B string real quick, the 15th fret. And then back to the B, uh, the 15th fret on the high E string. And then real quick, it goes back to the 15th on the B. And then to the 12th fret there on the um, the high E. So it, it kind of, that's real. The second time playing the 15th on the B string is, is really quick. It's just kind of like a, a um, leading us into the, the note back on the, uh, that's the 12th fret on the high E. So we had this. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, 15th fret there on the B string, over to 15 on the high E. And that second 15 is very quick. So on 15 on the B. So we go back to the B string real quick at the 15th fret, and then it takes us to the 12th fret there on the high E. So it looks like this. Now here we kind of just continue the melody on the high E string. So we have 12, 15, then 20, 19, 18. So we have this. So after the 18th fret, we go down to 14, 16, 18. All right, next part. All right, so that's 19. 21 real quick, then the 18, and then another quick one, 14 there on the uh, high eastern. And then you hold it at 17 for a while, and resolve it down to 15. So we have this all together there. And then the last part. Then the guitar just kind of dies out. So that's 14 down to 9. So 14 to 9. And then go 12, 11. And then we go 10, 9, then 6, 7. All right, so that is it for Exit Music. Beautiful song. So if you have somebody that can play that second guitar line, it kind of really adds to that last section there. It gets really dramatic. Uh, but yeah, just just a fantastic song all the way around. So hope you guys enjoyed learning it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.